Hey guys, Amy Pijon here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel, and welcome back if you've been here before. So we have another Halloween tutorial for you today. It's a Morton Joe tutorial from Mad Max. This took me about four hours. It was so long. This was like an hour alone just doing these goddamn tubes. Maybe it wasn't quite four hours, but it was a long time. Anyways, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe bu button, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know what future tutorials you want to see in the comment box below. And without further ado, let's get into this and what can Joe how do you make it? Alright you guys, so I'm starting off with my MAC mixing medium and my MAC silver pigment and this reference image right here. And I'm just going to start mapping out the top part of the metal mask because I like to move from left to right and top to down when I'm doing my body painting because my hand likes to rest on my face for stability. So um, I don't like to do like the whole face at once, I kind of work in sections generally and um, just going on and painting on that top part of the mask here. I'm also leaving the center of the nose open because we're going to be putting in some black detailing there later. Now I'm just going in with an angled brush and a black eyeshadow and I'm going to outline the top edges of that mask and then I'm going to feather up the brush to blend it out so it looks like a shadow so the mask looks more like it's 3D sitting on the face and I'm going to use my finger to um, smooth out the blending just a little bit. And now I'm pretty well doing the same thing but going downwards so that the um, the center of the mask can look a little bit more 3D or the silvery part of the mask uh, rather than it being like a flat silver piece because I want this center part to look like it's coming up a little bit more. I decided that this angled brush wasn't doing the trick getting as much black there as I wanted so I went in with a angled or sorry yeah, a more flat fluffy brush if that even makes sense a flat fl the fluffy brush <laughs> just to be able to deposit more color and create more depth there. And then we're going to do the same thing at the bottom of the mask. You're going to create that shadow underneath it. So you're going to outline the bottom of that silver part and then you're going to feather the black upwards. So again, that lower part looks like it's a little bit flatter, but the center of the silver is protruding more. And now here I am doing the same thing, going in with a fluffier brush just to add even more black there and make it more intense. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC brush stroke eyeliner and just outline the edges where I want it to be the blackest and crispest. Crispest? Most crisp? <laughs> you know what I mean? And now I'm going to start up with some of the detailing. So I'm going to draw um, just a straight line down where those two pieces of metal should be connecting on the reference image. I'm going to draw in some screws on the face. This is all using that same eyeliner pen here. And then um, I'm going to draw that, oh, I don't even know what it is. It is like some sort of a black hole across the top of the nose of the mask. And then, of course, the skeleton-like looking nasal cavity to the mask uh, right across the top of the nose. I didn't make this as skinny as I would have liked to have uh, because for some reason I couldn't get... My perception was just off with what it looked like in the photo and how it translated on my nose. So if you can make it skinnier, try to. It looks a lot more badass. Now there is a ton of shading that goes around on the inner nose piece of the metal mask. And it's particularly like right around the nose, like hugging the nostril area and going up towards that hole that we drew, drew in right between the uh, bridge of the nose. So I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and black eyeshadow and really darken up that bit right there. Then there's uh, quite a bit of shading on that outer piece of the metal that's looking like it's attaching to the center piece in the middle of the face. So I'm just adding a whole whack of black eyeshadow right there to create some depth. And now I'm going to go in with my MAC acrylic paint in black and just fill in the hole at the center of the face or the top of the bridge of the nose that we created with that black paint. And I'm going to do that for that nasal cavity part as well. Now this part's super easy. I'm just going in with my white acrylic paint from MAC and we're just going to add little dots onto those screws to create highlights. And we're going to do the same thing at the bottom of that bit that we added on the top of the nose to make it look more 3D. And then I'm just gonna go in with black eyeshadow and an angled brush in between that 
and the nose cavity part to darken it up a bit because it was looking way too silver for whatever reason. I think I went back in with the silver to clean it up and then it just looked too harsh. And now I'm going in with a wipe to just clean up those edges so we have a nice clean canvas to work with underneath the silver mask. And now onto the fun part, the teeth. So I'm using my yellow acrylic paint from MAC and just going to paint on four teeth on each side of that little split down the center of the nose that we created. Now I'm just going back in with my angled brush and black eyeliner, or sorry, black eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna map out where um, the tendrils or tendrils, sinew, uh, muscle, what do you call those things that attach to your teeth? Anyways, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> where those are gonna go on the top and the bottom um, areas underneath the mask and above the mask, I guess, depending on whether you're looking at the top part or bottom of the mask. And I'm also going to just very lightly uh, start to map out where the hoses will be coming down to over my shoulders. Don't mind me being a weirdo here. I like to show everyone that I'm dressed uh, to slow down the perv comments. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going in with my uh, super color grease paint from Cryolan and we're gonna start to draw on those little um, sinewy muscle striations. Striations, that's the word I was looking for. And this is really easy, this part. You're just like feathering in. There's no rhyme or reason to how it looks because you're gonna be layering lots of colors on and you're gonna do that on the top part um, from the teeth going into the mask. Now for some reason I chose to jump ahead to a different step here and I used a gray grease paint from Kryolan and I'm just drawing like a placeholder for where the tubes are going to be coming out of the face. And I am continuing with those striations now at the bottom part of the mask that we've left open here. Now we're going to go in and do the same thing that we did with those striations with some black grease paint to just add some depth and make it look a little bit more recessive again at the top and the bottom and we're also um, while we're in there with the black grease paint we're gonna go ahead and line the lips to create a little sorry the lips the teeth to create some definition and separation between all of them and while I'm at it with the black I'm gonna fill in that little oh god I don't even know what that empty shape is beside the circle but we're gonna fill all of that in with the black grease paint <laughs> Now I'm going in with some white acrylic paint to just layer on top of the yellow so it's not so yellow looking. I'm not going to lie guys, I went too ham with this part and now I find the teeth not yellow enough. So play around with whatever color you're comfortable with. Um, but while I have the white acrylic paint on me, I'm just going to paint my chin area white. Not a super, super exciting step if I do say so myself. And then I'm going in with a dual fiber brush with some gray, gre gray, ugh, gray grease paint and black grease paint. And we're just gonna stipple it on there to create some nice kind of gritty looking texture. I'm also gonna go back in with some of that white acrylic paint to just bring a little bit more highlighting texture to it because I found that I went a little too ham with the other, uh, the other colors. Now I'm just going back in with that penultimate um, eyeliner and we're gonna draw a bunch of little screws on the tops and the bottoms of all of the teeth And then diving back into that white acrylic paint and a little detailed brush We're just gonna highlight right underneath the curves of all the teeth or right above depending whether you're on the lower or upper set uh, To make it look like there are kind of like little fake gum like things that are protruding below the teeth I am also gonna highlight the screws that got lost in a little bit of the shading up there so you really can see them. Now I'm going in with that black um, that black eyeshadow and that angle brush and we're just feathering out a bit of shadowing underneath the highlighted gum area because with every highlight there is a shadow. So that's gonna make the part below the highlight look like it's receding into the mask more. And I realized I textured the chin so much, why wasn't I doing it to the rest of the metal part of the mask? So I went in doing the same technique with some black eyeshadow, um, or was it grease paint? Sorry, it was grease paint onto, um, or it was acrylic paint, sorry, it was acrylic paint onto the rest of the metal part of the mask. Okay, now onto these little bitches. Oh my god, it was brutal, but I'm using a Cryoland um, brown grease paint, and I'm just going to fill in those tubes we created with that grease paint. Pretty easy, the step is, anyways. And you're going to want to cover that lower part of the mask with this grease paint as well to make it look like that brown tube 
is coming out of that hole in your face down to your neck. And be warned when you change your head positioning, the way, depending on like where my camera angle looks, it looks like it's not attached to the part of my neck, but I assure you it is. Just make sure however you're looking at it, that it looks like it's all attached. And then I'm gonna go in and powder the bejesus out of it because it's a grease paint. It will not set, ladies and gentlemen, so you need a lot of powder. Um, and now I'm going in with my black acrylic paint again, and we're gonna fill in half of that circle that we created there to kind of look like the connected lid screw-on attachment part of the hose. And then of course we powder. I'm powdering with black eyeshadow to make this extra black and to set it a little bit more. And now I'm going in with some of that gray grease paint again and creating like these little 3D octagon like edges or not oct octagon? Is that even a word? Octagon? Whatever shape this is going to be it's going to have little pointed edges to it so that's why we are doing this. And now I'm just going in with a smidgen of white acrylic paint again from MAC just to really intensify that. Now I'm going in with some white um, grease paint actually and I'm just going to be painting like little rectangular uh, chunks all the way down um, the entire hose there to make them look a little bit more 3D and like a bunch of pieces kind of uh, put together. Or you know how a hose looks. Well, some hoses are smooth the whole way through, I guess, but others kind of look more accordion-like, so we're kind of going for that kind of an effect here. Again, powder the shit out of yourself so we can do work on top of it without uh, all the grease paint mixing into the things. Now I'm going to go in with a dark chocolate brown eyeshadow, and we're just going to shade in between each one of those little sections we created and around the edges, almost like rounding them out Again, so they look more like little accordion type foldy pieces rather than a smooth hose. And now I'm going back in with my black eyeshadow and an angled brush to create more depth in between those little sections here by right in the middle putting a harsh black line and also right around the edges. I'm also going to go in with my black eyeliner pen and start drawing little strokes to create uh, texture and ribbing along those uh, little sections that we created. And I'm going to go in with the dark brown grease paint and do the same thing. And then I'm going to go in with the white grease paint to create highlights. So we've got a lot of dimension of little ridges coming forward and receding backwards in these sections. Okay, on to the face, the easiest part. So first I'm going to glue down my eyebrows um, just so that they're really flat when we try to cover them up. I'm going to mix into my foundation a little bit of white cream paint so I can make myself look paler without looking myself look totally white and we're just going to fill in the rest of your face with that. Now I'm going in with my Be Perfect Cosmetics palette in the color Guilty and we're just going to smoke the crap out of that lower lash line with that red shadow as haphazardly as we please. This part is so easy, it's amazing. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. I'm really going to concentrate that on my lid and then we're going to kind of wing it up in like a weird um, slope shape towards the outside of the eyebrows and again this can be and should be entirely haphazard to look more authentic. And now I'm going to start um, doing the wrinkles in between my eyes. So I'm actually frowning here and drawing them on where my wrinkles naturally go when I frown and look angry and upset. I'm just using a black eyeshadow here and then I'm going to feather the color outward to help smooth out those lines a bit. And I'm going to draw a few more in between the eyes going horizontally. I'm going to do some underneath the eyes and some along the forehead. And then I go in with a clean brush to help blend it out even more so they look a little bit more subtle. Well that's it for today you guys. So I really hope you like this uh, Immortan Joe Halloween makeup tutorial. I had a fun time making it even though it was a complete nightmare and a lot of work. But um, I think it was worth it and it paid off. So yeah, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. And let me know in the comments what you want to see for future tutorials uh, in the comment box below. Until next time, take care you guys.